Road in West Virginia. We're about 15 minutes away from our meeting place. We're starting to get excited about meeting the dogs and getting them safely back to Pittsburgh. Um, one of the dogs we're picking up today um, has some health issues that we are going to need to deal with once we get him back. He was found last winter um, frozen by the police in Ohio and he also has what is believed to be an old injury to his hips and back legs like maybe he was hit by a car and it never healed properly so he does have some mobility issues he also is heartworm positive so we're going to get him back to the shelter get the vets to take a look at him and get a plan in place to get this guy on the mend so he can go on to find his new forever home so one of the other dogs that we're picking up today um, he was a last minute add to the transport he had been thrown from the bed of a pickup truck on the 4th of July. Um, he doesn't seem to have sustained any injuries. He's a young dog, about eight months old. Um, they said he's really super friendly and a happy boy, so we're really looking forward to meeting him as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back, check the temperature, make sure it's cool enough, but not too cold for our passengers. Oh, it's perfect. Perfect. Okay, so here we are. We're going to start to get the dogs out of the van of Pitiful Paws Rescue and load it up into our van so we can get them back to Pittsburgh. So, how'd everybody do? Everybody was fine. No one made a noise. No? Were they quiet? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Okay. So this is Guppy. Guppy, um, somebody pulled up to their shelter on the 4th of July in a pickup truck and just pushed him off the back of the truck. So that's how he ended up in their shelter and now he's coming with us to Pittsburgh. Hopefully one of us was outside to like grab him. Yeah. Okay, and this is him, right? Yep. Okay, so this is Broderick. And the story of Broderick is that he was found by the police in Ohio. Right? He's actually found by us in Ohio. Oh, he's found um, by you. Yeah, we had someone call in a welfare check. Um, the owner of the property found him tied to a tree um, in the dead of winter, and it was probably 11 or midnight whenever we went out to get him. Um, and he had, they had let him loose from the tree and gotten him like unstuck to the ground because he was partially frozen to the ground. Um, and then he was hiding under the house whenever we got there. Oh. And we kept hollering for him, and the video is basically just us yelling for him to come out, and he came out and we obviously saw what shape he was in. Oh, buddy. Yeah. And you can see that he has some injury. Um, they believe he might have been hit by a car or something in his past, and it, wasn't, it didn't heal properly. Um, but he gets around great, and he's nothing but a good boy. And we're going to love him, just like you guys did for all this time. We're going to get him to our vets, see what we can do to get this guy to be able to stabilize and walk better and see what we can do to help him. So we're back in Pennsylvania. It's been a quiet, quiet trip so far. Everybody's riding really well. They got in the van nicely. They're probably enjoying all the air conditioning and the peace and quiet after being in the shelter for so long. A lot of times when dogs get a reprieve from all the noise of a shelter, they sleep very soundly. Um, so this is one of our new regional transport partners. We have several here in the state of West Virginia, and we spend a lot of time driving down here. We're usually down here a couple of times a week um, to meet one or more of our partners to bring back cats, dogs, puppies, kittens, whatever they need help with. We're more than happy to help and the people of Pittsburgh are always looking to adopt some really cute little friends so it all works out for everybody.